queen is a seed and there is a harvest attached to it the bible says we will reap in due season what does god reward faithfulness the bible says in first corinthians chapter 4 from verse 1 and 2 first corinthians 4 1 and 2 let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ and stewards of the mysteries of god verse 2 it says moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful if god rewards faithfulness it also means that men reward faithfulness when you are faithful you can be sure that you are connecting yourself to god's reward system number three what does god reward according to scripture the works of men write it down please god rewards the works of men particularly the purity the purity and the motif behind the things that you do and he also rewards the i wrote here the degree of compliance to patterns god rewards the works of men he rewards the purity of your motif and he also rewards the degree to which you complied to the patterns this is powerful god rewards the works of men the purity of your motif what is motivating your service and then your degree of compliance revelations 22 and verse 12 22 12 it says behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work will reveal according as his work will reveal very very powerful hallelujah in first corinthians chapter 3 from verse 12 apostle paul began to teach us a very deep mystery 3 from verse 12 first corinthians 3 from verse 12 first corinthians 3 from verse 12 now if any man build upon this foundation gold silver precious stones wood hay stubble 13 reading to 15 every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try or test every man's work of what sort it is 14 if any man's work abide which he had built thereupon he shall receive a reward the reward is only if the work remains the last verse it says if any man's work shall be burned he shall suffer loss but he himself shall be saved yet as of fire so god reve god rewards our motif the motif behind the things that we do that is why you can find out for instance in church two people can be cleaning this pulpit and to your natural eyes they are all doing the same thing but you will be surprised that their rewards in the spirit will differ sometimes east and west because god does not just reward the activity he rewards number one the motif and then number two the degree of compliance to patterns is someone learning already so i've been able to establish the fact that god rewards that as much as God does not want our consciousness of reward to be the primary and the ultimate motivation behind our loving and seeking him. It is a dangerous thing to be motivated by anything above love. The Bible says there remained these three, faith, hope and love. It calls love the greatest. It calls love the bond of perfection. The moment you are motivated by any other thing higher than love, already you have tampered with the equation of rest and you have tampered with the equation of divine excellence. All things rest upon love. Are we together now? So our pursuit, let me repeat one last time, that in dealing with God and even in dealing with ourselves, our ultimate drive must be that we love God with all our hearts, and it is an honor to see him lifted and to see him glorified. But I'm being honest and open with you 
that God as a fair and a benevolent king and father has designed a reward system within this kingdom and it is important for believers to be aware of God's reward system because you see if you do not know the reward system of the kingdom you cannot place a demand on it and many things will go wrong in your life while you are serving God it will make God look unfair as far as your work with him is concerned are we together one of the many names that God is called in the Bible is the righteous judge because he rewards 